This week we're doing tile. I got the painter here. I got my helper here with me today. She's my, she is uh, my oldest daughter and she's a badass. So that's all I got to say about that. And she's got her sneaks on. So let me get you a quick, how do you do before we do do do. We're using a Schluter Dietra underlayment system, which is a system I've never worked with before. Let me throw this down over here. The homeowner requested it, and uh, I'm going to go with it, whatever. This is the tile we're using in the shower enclosure. This is the system. It's made in Canada, which is kind of cool. Made in Canada. Schluter Dietra. This takes place of... Cement board, this creates a vapor proof and waterproof barrier. These are the edge moldings I'm gonna use. I'm just kind of trying to figure this out because I've never used this system before, like I said. So this is not gonna be a how-to video. Uh, I'm just reading right out of the book and we'll go with it. I, I can't imagine, it seems pretty straightforward. I can't imagine there's too many tricks to it. It seems like it'd be a pretty decent system. Here's the, uh, the the curdy band which they to do seams and to do the inside corners of the shower to make it watertight seems pretty straightforward like I said they used it in here before you see the uh, honeycomb pattern on the mortar that's on the floor here this is scraped tight and uh, I'm just gonna go right over the top of it with more mortar of course once it gets all swept and vacuumed and cleaned up my daughter was just in here painting so she got, she didn't do the inside of the window, okay. like I asked. I like putting a coat of paint on everything. It doesn't really recommend that you do that <clears throat> over drywall. It doesn't say that, but I like tying everything in. I like creating at least one more layer of moisture barrier. I like making sure that all the dust is bound to something. So the fortified polymer, polymer modified, fortified mortar will stick like blue okay so basically with this stuff okay i'll let you go um you keep going inside because we got to wait for that to dry before we can put the mortar on basically what you do is you trowel out not trowel out your thin set onto the wall in this case the gypsum board is an acceptable surface you bed this into your troweled out mortar fleece side down make sure you have complete contact you want to make sure your mortar is kind of wet Nice and shiny, not wet enough to lose form, but you know, still be able to stand up when you comb it out with the notch trowel, um, but not dull by any way, shape, or form. And then you just you can go immediately right over the top of this. You just trowel out more mortar, and you set your brick or your not brick, but tile right on top of it, and away you go. So, like I said, this isn't a how-to video because I don't feel qualified to do a how-to video on this because I've never used it before, but. I'll show you the steps kind of as I go, as we take it, and of course the final result. Yeah, should be interesting. These are cheap tiles. Not a big fan of using cheap tiles. Um, some of the downsides to this, the only upside is that the base material, the parent material is a similar color to the printed glazing. I guess it's glazing or whatever you want to call it. If this gets nicked or scratched or gouged, at least it won't be a dark red color. The super cheap tiles, they use the, like a terracotta, um, yeah. But I can't show edges, like the that inside mount on the window. Um, when I lay tile on there, there's no, there's no pretty edge. And I certainly don't want this facing up. If, if that makes any sense to you guys, I'll show you as I get to that point, which is why I bought a third uh, third piece of corner trim. I'm thinking that I'm going to trim the window, the exposed edge of the tile with this stuff. So there'll be a white band to kind of frame in that window, which will match the white shower pan, which will match the white paint in the bathroom. I'm talking too much. Ah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look, it's me. Yeah. So anyhow, I'm going to keep rolling and I'll get you guys in when we got the next step. We good? We'll keep the paint set up hot and uh, in case we need it again. But um, so now we gotta wait. I'm gonna turn the heater on. We'll wait about 20 minutes for that stuff really to kick and then we'll uh, keep going. So we'll be back in just a minute. Schluter.
Okay, so we're pulling an audible here. We're going to do a change of plan. We primed this out. Oh, she primed it out. But it is wet, and we've already waited like an hour, and this is just a waste of my day. See how wet that is? It shouldn't be shiny. This primer should be dull like that. So um, we're going to do the floor first. It is what it is. It's just a waste of time and money to sit here and stare at the walls for another hour, hour and a half. It's not horrible. Do the floor first today. We'll get the floor laid out today, and then I can come in tomorrow, and it'll be cured. We can walk on it. I'll keep the heater on in the house and then do the shower and closure after. Not a bad idea because the floor tile will tuck underneath the floor, underneath the wall tile, whatever. I'm talking fast because time's a ticking. Okay, vacuum. So this is how it looks. I troweled out using a pretty heavy notched trowel, keeping the polymer fortified polymer modified mortar nice and wet uh, I think that's all right it beds in there quite nicely we're going to use the seam tape on the seams when I get the mortar mixed and you can go right over the top right now apparently you don't have to wait so we're going to figure out the best way to lay out this tile so it looks right actually could you grab a box of floor tile the 12 by 12 from the basement please and uh, and then we'll go from there what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I think I showed you this already, but that's the stuff, the waterproof band that you put over the... You bed in over the seams. I did it all in one piece so the seam would not be where the main part of your walking. It's just around the toilet here. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... We'll, uh, we'll bed that tape in there. We'll get this done. If I can get the floor laid out today, I will consider that a successful day. And then tomorrow, see this stuff? Is it dry yet? Let's see, it's still wet right there. Still wet right in there. And I need, the, I need this primer completely dry because if I throw a mortar on top of that, it's just going to not stick. So it is what it is. Okay, let's keep rolling. We're going to figure out these tiles. Thank you, kid. And then uh, don't drop them. If you break that bucket, you break that box coming out of your pay. Seriously. Okay, I'll be right back. I need some ass to keep. Here we go. I've dry cut and fit everything to that threshold of that doorway there. I'm going to start sticking her down. So far, I kind of like this Schluter Dietra system. I'll let you know in a minute how she goes. I'm wearing knee pads like a good boy. Oops, sorry. I'm wearing knee pads like a good boy. Uh, I did pretty good. I don't know how well you can see that. There's about three quarters of an inch of mud on the bottom of the bucket. That's not horrible to have left over. I've done a whole lot worse. This is how we came out. I'm extremely pleased. Extremely pleased with the uh, underlayment system with how this whole thing laid out tile wise the challenge here is that you've got some very defined lines here with the floor and as it so happens this one grout line here lines up with this wood line and let's see if I get back because it's all about how the eye perceives things right and if you're looking down this um, seam in the bamboo floor it spit spot on money with that grout line straight as an arrow and that makes me excited little things this whole bathroom is actually a little off square can't really tell um, you can hide a lot of sins underneath the toe kick I've got three and three quarters of an inch of stuff you can't directly see so you can fudge things a little bit I wanted this to be spot on because I can't change the floor and the floor is not perpendicular with the wall and this wall actually tapers in a little bit from here to there it tapers in probably three sixteenths of an inch maybe to a full well, not quite a quarter um, whatever it doesn't matter because there's going to be a baseboard put back on here seven eighths of an inch so it'll it'll kill this right grout line and then here's underneath the toe kick so you don't even see it but let me step on this slightly This is how we leave it. Very happy. Very happy. 
me step in here because I see some. You want to make sure your is that dirt? No, oh, that's just loose. You want to make sure your stuff is nice and clean. So I'm gonna come here tomorrow. I'm gonna pull all this. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. Tomorrow will be a new day. I I miss totally missed that when I was doing sheetrock repair. Uh, but it's still it's easy to be done after the fact. When I was doing all this, I could have easily slipped a spot in there, but I could do that uh, in a couple days. I'll be back here tomorrow to do the shower enclosure. We're going to call it good for the day. We have uh, 3 o'clock. So we've got about five, about five hours into this job with the two of us uh, today. And that's about all we can get done today because I don't want to keep walking on this thing while it's set. So I'm going to turn the heater on and let her kick good. By tomorrow we should be able to walk on it, lightly tread, and then do the shower enclosure. Um, yeah, my daughter's a badass. I mean, I just, yeah, she's mine. She's my kid, so uh, you tend to speak highly of your own children, I think. But she did all the cuts, and she did them all accurately. I shot out some numbers to her. She went downstairs. She came back, and things fit the first try. So um, this is not her first tile job that she's worked with me, and it probably won't be her last. But uh, it's nice having competent help. So, I'm going to get on out of here before I do some damage. Oh, set the light off. And we're going to turn the heater on. And that's how we leave it. Alright, got to go, got to run.